Hey everyone, this is Gleb and I have this project for managing the game time and soccer stats for my City League youth soccer team. And you can define teams, for example, team B added, and then you can pick for team B, for example, this player and this player are on the team. So it shows for each team the currently selected players. I want to add the number of players on the team right here so you can easily see how many players each team currently has. So I already have a bunch of Cypress tests for this project and I want to add a test before I implement the feature. So why don't I pick one of the existing tests, maybe add the players to the selected team and I can add an assertion to verify that there is a number of players on the team. I already have my cursor editor open, adds players to the team. I think this is the test that I'm interested in. So I'm going to set only, move it to the right. Uh, this is the test. So I'm adding a team right here and I'm checking the name team A. Excellent. So why don't I verify that the team starts with zero players. So this is it. So I'll say site contains team A and find let's say players N should have text and let's see zero players okay and right now it will fail because there is no players and element on the team component so what i can do now i'll say maybe let's ask cursor to implement this so i'm going to open the agent and i'll say find the team component add a element with class that shows the current number of players on the team. Okay, let's see if Cursor can implement this feature. I have in my global settings a Cursor um, command to always create new branch. Let's see what it has done. It found the team component, added players and number of players. Okay, that seems to be uh, reasonable. So let's just stop for now and let's see what we have right here. I'm going to rerun this test. I can see two players. Perfect. And notice it changes to zero players, one player and so on. I can update the test to verify that two players is displayed. So I can say maybe add second player at the end okay the test has passed there are two players the only other thing that i don't like is that it's in the center i think it's way too prominent now yeah, we can fix this later okay so now that this single test passes why don't i remove it that only to see if all tests pass okay something went wrong right here there are no teams what's happening it okay, has team components of the same let's see only now right here where we added the team let's make sure that this is not breaking anything okay now we should be all good always nice to be defensive about coding perfect okay, let's remove only and confirm that our code changes passing all the tests. Let's open the terminal and I have a get ready command testing the number of players. Now this is pushed. Cursor already opened a pull request and is running tests. So they did not pass in the beginning because of that mistake. Now we are running the tests. Let's see. Okay, so even or from the terminal, I can use GitHub CLI to you know, look at the current pull request commit checks. 
it's still in progress right here you can see it in the github ui let's wait uh, for this to finish this project has a lot of tests so it's fine and i'm running them all on one machine perfect let's confirm that everything is green perfect so we can say pr merge collect squashing i don't want to delete submit and let's get the latest code and we are done so we added a test and then added the number of players per team and everything has been tested and is passing